Uh, here, okay, here. cool, perfect. Chupi, get your ass over here. Chupi. It's not the time to play games. Get over here, Chu. Over there you go. There you go, baby. Boom. All right, so I'm recording fall. over You're here. Fall down there. Okay, there. Okay. He's up there, huh? All right, all right. Okay. So, um. Yeah, I'm all up on this camera. Okay, <laughs> what's up? What's up? All right, so, uh. So how long have you been out already? You've been out for what, like uh, like two hours already? Two, three hours maybe? Let me check, let me check. Uh, by the way, this 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 motherfucker been with me since I was 15 years old. I won't even say that story, but uh, yeah. It's been with me through Salinas Valley and New Delano. Same thing, Salinas Valley and New Delano. So uh, this is gonna be part two of uh, Joe, uh, Joe coming home and we're following around. My and ride home. And look at what he got right here, man. He brought Choopy, the one and only. The one and only Choopy. He came out with me. Hey, you know what? And uh, I thought you were gonna leave him back there. I never hey, thought you were bro. gonna bring him with him. Me neither, but my Sally, he, he's in love with this dude. And uh, his girl was like, why don't you bring, why don't he bring him? And he's like, he's too busy, fool. He not gonna do that. And uh, I heard him and I was like, fool, it's nothing. Give me, give me Chupi. I'll take him out there. No, no problem. So his girl's buying a 60 70 80 dollar tank and crickets forever. This was going to be fat. <laughs> we struggle in there for that. Hey, you know what? And uh, this moment is so, so real for me. I could imagine for you because I remember like, a few weeks back, you know, you brought him out to the, to the video visit. Yep. And now, uh, now he's out here. And now he's out here. Big star. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, if, if, so, if somebody wants to, uh, you know, get get Chupi on the podcast, how, how are they going to go, uh, well, first go about and that? Well, first and foremost, I'm the manager, so talking to the guy. You're talking to the right guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, so uh, how, how does it feel now? You, you, you're two, three hours in already. Uh, sun's hitting you in the face. It's setting in because I was calling everybody. And I'm doing time management because I'm like, we got to be at my sister here, sister there, da, da, da. So I'm just, I'm still on, I, I'm like on your page. I'm like, let's get this done. I wasn't even going to eat. Oh, oh, hold on, now we're getting a call. Who could it be? Let's find out. This is Global this call is now being recorded. You have a prepaid call from... Jesse Nava. An incarcerated individual at... I don't know how I Centinella feel about State that. Prison, Centinella, <laughs> California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. You have a prepaid Looking call. All, you will not be charged for this right? call. Yeah, to accept yeah, this call, say or dial 5 risk. now. Thank you for using Global Tail Link. Hello? 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 Hey, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to think about your um, intro. Jesse, nah. What do you mean, my intro? Arifa. That's all you Jesse didn't nah. say. That's all hey. you didn't say. It sounded, it sounded crazy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It sounded crazy. Yeah, it sounded <laughs> crazy. I picture that fool with a with yeah, a with like, a three whoa. inch whip, three inch mustache right yeah, there. Yeah, Putting Tom Selleck to well, shame. With a push broom. Yeah, push broom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, no, I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask you. Hey, do me a favor and tug on James's mustache. I just want to know if it's real. Yeah, let me know. Yeah, yeah. Make sure, make sure, make sure that motherfucker is in the yeah. Held on to a Velcro. Yeah, give it a good tug on both hands. Check this out. Check this out. Look, you see that? I can't do that, bro. That's my lid. We ain't doing that no more. Not my lid. Hey, so. So, man, so check this out. For this, this, this phone call is being recorded. This is Jesse and David. 
And uh, we're calling to check in with our boy. Just wanted to put this on there live because the homie finally made it out. 27 years since he was a juvenile. And that's that's a, that's a major inspiration for all of us that are still stuck in here. I want everybody to know that we build bonds in here. We build ties in here that can never be broken. Because this is a struggle that people out there may never truly be able to understand. or truly. Be, and, and we hope to bring you guys a little bit inside so you can understand what we go through. The process of ultimately making back out. The things we had to go through to, to ultimately change our lives. And so I just want everybody to know that, that just because the brother has, has departed from this jungle, he, yeah. he gets to, his journey here in prison it, it isn't completely over, but his, his stay here is over because he's connected to us in our hearts. He's connected to us in our spirit. We're, we're, we're always going to be a part of his, 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 his life is beginning now. And so we wanted to call and we wanted to, to, to be a part of this the initial transition. And, and, and with that being said, I wanted to ask you, what was it like, bro? Because last night we stayed out till 9 o'clock last night oh, when yeah. in the wind and the cold to, to, yeah. to spend our last few hours with yeah. you. And you had said something to the effect that, that over the last five months you hadn't truly been able to accept and appreciate that you had uh, earned your freedom or that you had, you had won your freedom again. And so, and I understand that because one thing we've learned about prison is you're not out until you walk out them doors. So I get that. I get the reservation. I get the, I understand that. So with that said, what is it like, bro? What was it like to actually take your very first breath of, of free air, you know, to take your very steps out of this prison and know that this is it, you made it? What did that feel like to you, dog? What was the emotional aspect of that? It was too much. It was too much, Jesse, because that, I, I couldn't even talk. And I'm telling this James... Call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. I'm telling James, like, I didn't feel this because I was so, like, um... I had I had reserves whether they pull the date or not, right? And I didn't feel it, but when I came out, that shit was so strong, fool, that I, I man, I couldn't even get words out. It was it's undescribable, it's undescribable. And when you guys get out, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. It was that strong. It's shocking. Shocking. Yeah, cause shocking. Cause you're on the other side now, but. Uh, uh, emotionally, like it, 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 it felt like everything was hitting all at the wrong time because I'm on video. <laughs> I'm trying to do this interview and uh, I, I, I couldn't get it done. I couldn't get it done, bro. Because the reality was fitting in. Yeah. It, it, I would have broke down. I'm breaking down. I'm breaking down thinking about you re earning your yeah. freedom. You know what I mean? I could imagine how, how it's going to feel for me. And that's why I asked you that question because. I know the way I felt for knowing that one another one had earned his freedom and a friend of mine, a brother of mine, had actually obtained his freedom after so long going out there to a new life. You know, like your, your life begins for you, bro. This isn't this isn't a second chance. This is actually your first chance. You know, yeah. you're going to go out there and start a real life. And so I could only imagine, and I know you, you, I didn't see any of that in you until last night. That was the first conversation I seen where I could tell you were actually starting to grasp a little bit of what was happening. So I know that when you walked out of there, I know you had to be an emotional wreck because it was the first time I could say that you probably re actually accepted your freedom. Yeah, and, and when I left you guys, I'm still in a rush because I'm like, man, I haven't done this, I haven't done that, I haven't shaved. I went to bed at like 10.30, rushing everything. And then I woke up like at 12.30, it was a restless night. The night man didn't call me till early. So I thought it was done. I was like, baby's coming up, James <laughs> is coming up. This boy already took the flight and they're gonna tell them something went wrong. So we're not letting him out. So so they, they called yeah. me close to five and I was tripping. Like I wasn't physically I wasn't I wasn't pacing or none of that, but mentally I was like I I'm the first and only guy that's gonna go through this you make it all the way out and at the 11th hour they, they're like nope that's how i felt yeah. and it's because and it happens it, it happens and if and it was because i think we were all getting picked up so they didn't have nobody to take on the bus for our yard okay, okay. yeah and then, um, a little later. and then from, from the experience, just like everyone says, bro, everyone's mixed up. Like, like I could say that with honest and true testimony right now. We're all mixed up. Well, nobody did nothing. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, everybody getting released. Huh? Everybody, everybody getting released. Everybody getting released. The SMY is Yeah, active. everybody, bro. Yeah, you know, I didn't ask names. I didn't do none of that, but we were all right there, bro. And uh, ain't nobody want to stay in that dungeon. Ain't nobody want to stay there. Right. Right. That's the, that's where that's where the reality sets in for everybody. Like, am I really gonna put my freedom on the line? Yep. It's one thing when you're when you're in here and, and you're just like, okay, well, I'm already here, so I'm gonna stay here. But when you're right there, you're at the front door. Ain't nobody looking back. Everybody's looking forward at what their future looks like. And they, yep. most of them dudes are gonna probably get out there and get smoked out and be back. But they're gonna at least try it one more time. And that's the thing too that kind of goes to show, man. It's like, okay, well, why do we why do we you know have violence against each other in here? Why does the main line in S&Y have to, you know, get off on each other? And why do them dudes got to rush us? You so know why? Example. You guys know why, like though, right? You we're guys that, know why? Yeah, we, yeah, and that's, yeah. We Peer pressure. And that's, that's unfortunate, you know? You, you, you feel like yeah, everyone's judging and, you. And, you feel like if I don't yeah, do this, it's, gang, it's, it's, it's a mounting yep, pressure. It's, gang, it's the gang yeah. leaders. Yeah. yeah. But you, so, guys, you guys showed, though, that you guys can be neighbors. You absolutely. Guys can, you guys can't be around each other. You guys can't interact with each other. You guys are the same. More you know, importantly, I, I want to know about the Levi's, dude. What, 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 are you, <laughs> what are you wearing right now? <laughs> oh, they're they're sa you, they're same as you, bro. They're five hundred ones. They're same as you. They're, 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 that's, that's it. What I'm talking about. I what's came your, out with my street? prison shoes. What's I came out with a one? with the vans you order for walking <laughs> horse. Yeah, the all white ones. And that's yeah. it. I came out with a yeah. thermal. I said, bring all the other clothes in the car. Hey, yeah. Hey, what do you, what do you, what do you, um, man, what's on your mind though, man? Like how, like as far as what are you going to, what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do today? Today gonna, like, we're you racing. You're going to go eat again? No, yeah. no, bro. Today in my mind, mentally, I am racing. We got to go to this sister's house, that sister's, and you don't get that much time with them because I'm trying to get as much James could get in. So it's like, I love you, I'll see you around, I gotta go for away for six months and catch me then, yeah. you know? It's just gonna surprise everybody, so you, my mind's right there. Huh? You, do you remember what I told you, like when we were, this is David, do you remember when we were on the yard and I told you, just take a look at all this, it's over. Yeah, it's over. And, you know, this is your last night in prison, look around and, and, but see, a part of us, like a part of me is always gonna see uh, 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 you on the track, you know, you're not yeah. here no more, but I'm going to picture you with your, with your, uh, uh, your smock, with your smock on, you know, your, your medical smock on, yeah. cruising around. That's not an assault audience. Like that's a, that's a very nice shirt it. they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds crazy yeah, when it they is. said yeah, it. Like it that. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a special, yeah, it's a special medical smock and it has like the, the HFM. Uh, yeah. Oh, they've seen it. Yeah. I, I yeah, got it videos with it. I got videos with it on it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and, no, and but so they know I what you're referring like, to. Damn, I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna like look towards medical. I'm gonna be like, there's gonna be a she feeling in Atlanta. Like, We're standing there, you know, you'd be incognito. Hey, sometimes James will wear like it'd be crazy. There'd be nobody there in the whole area, and I'll look up and he'll just come walking out of the horseshoe pit. Came out of a cloud of smoke. Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> he's so he's so I quiet. He's got like ninja that. shoes on or something. Yeah. You know? <laughs> hey, you know it's crazy. So. So, so right now you you're at McDonald's right now. You're picking up your very first free meal, your your very first meal in the free world, right? Yeah. And, and and fortunately for you, you didn't have to go in there and make those choices because I've I've been I've heard from past lifers, people who've done a bunch of time like us. They say even looking at a menu is kind of mind blowing. It's, it's it gives you anxiety because there's so many choices, choices that we didn't have here in prison. I could and, see and that. What, I mean, what like what are your thoughts? Like my thoughts you know? would. Go 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 to your comfort zone. Jack in the crack. Give me a double ultimate cheeseburger with fries. Boom boom boom. Make it look natural. That's what I would have did. That's 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 honesty. Yep. Yeah. Hey, but fake it till you make it. Yep. But but now what? When, when you walk into these here. places, huh? you, there is no human interaction. You just go up to a kiosk. You you press. You touch and boom. I don't I don't think James really seen me around other people because there's <laughs> forever human interaction with me. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, we're gonna take this guy down out in the town today. Yeah. Yeah, that's tight. That's yeah. Only he's like, man, I took my shirt off my back and my shoes off my feet for you, brother. He this did. is a lot. This is for life. I was like, hell yeah. He did. You that know, was, um, hell yeah. Was crazy. Yeah. Hey, bro. It's just one more that's crazy story. Real. It's one more crazy story in prison, but 
I'll say this. I never seen nobody walk away barefoot like that, you know? Nah, hell nah. You know? <laughs> That's I, why I, was, I came in and told my family, I was like, man, you should have seen. But the, 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 what is it, the, the, the reasoning, the, the, the message behind it, though, says yeah. so much more than a man just walking away barefooted. Like, it's literally the... The yep. insinuation is like, look, man, you know, like, I, I got you, because that's exactly what you said. You're like, fool, I got you, you know what I mean? I'll see you on the other side. Yep. Yep. That's the kind of person, that's the kind of, James, you know, when I, when I first got here yesterday that I never forgot, man. When I first got here from Calipatria, you know, it's a new prison, and I've described what it's like to come into a new prison and not really know nobody. And, you know, I heard that Jesse was here, but I wasn't really shook him up to me and was like, hey, man, you need to call your family. Go ahead and use my tablet, you know? Go ahead and uh, go ahead and call your family, and I was like so surprised, you know. And I was like, dude, I don't know if my password will work, is gonna work. He's like, don't worry, just use mine, you know. And that was it was just it was amazing because you're just not really used to that in prison, you know. And then I gave it back, and he's like, don't worry about it. I'm gonna come and drop it off before I go to work, so you can spend some time with it, you know. And it was just like you're an amazing person. Uh, I was really happy that I got to spend this time with you, man. You know, yeah. I know you're gonna do great things out there, and I can't wait to get out there with you guys, man. Yeah, likewise, you're, you're, and you've uh, been an inspiration. I shared that story well, just I right now. Smock, even though I don't work in there. I gave I <laughs> yeah. gave them away. I gave them away, bro. People were hitting me up. Yeah. The two people that wanted them got them. You know, and they forgot about them. Yeah, I just want to wear it just so I can like be like, man, be like you working out. <laughs> Dave, I've been Dave. Inspired. I just shared that story yeah. with um with James when I was outside of this Central call Dallas and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. When I was outside yeah. at Cincinnati State Prison, yeah. I just shared how we met. And it's it's yeah. like beautiful. They're going to see one episode, and then the next one, you're there saying the same thing. But the only thing I said yeah. differently was that when I did that, yeah. that was a concern of mine yeah. because you can't lend the tablet out. So when I'm over there stressing on yeah. or pulling the date, that's one of yeah. many things I am stressing on you know and and, and yeah. you know we know it's wrong but as a human it's not yeah. right for your family it has not 60 to know seconds remaining as a human it's not right for your family not to know if you're safe or not so that's why I did it in genuine yeah. kindness but at the same time I was like fuck did I fuck up you know no, straight up, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I never, I'll never forget that, man. Yeah. You know? It's the same way Dave was fortunate to have you right there in the building, you know what I mean, and as my friend for a long for time, now, and you being my boy, I was glad you were able to help him out, that the world is going to be lucky to have you out there that same way, you know? Yeah. It already just hit Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro, and, <laughs> hey, and I did not know, I, I didn't know they knew each other. Oh, really? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Hey, this fool came off the bus. No, hey, call back, call back. Yeah. yeah. Call back. All right. Gonna... All right. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know him. I didn't know Jesse knew him. This fool's like, oh, my Sally's coming from Calipad, da, da, da. I'm like, oh, chill right here. Ooh, next thing you know, Jesse steals him. And Alfonso comes later. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's... Yeah, but they know each other from kids. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I remember them telling me that they met in the, in the house. Yeah. And then uh, they reconnected after uh, uh, Jesse got out from uh, YA. Yeah. 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 And then uh, the rest is history. Man, there goes Jack in the box. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> they, lucky I didn't see that. I might have jumped ship. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, man. What did you get me, baby? Eggs? Yeah, they're just a sausage with and, and hash browns on the side? Yeah. All right, here yeah. we go. You the man. You the man. This is Global Telly. This call is you now have a prepaid recorded. call from. That used to scare me. This yeah. call is now being recorded. I was like, the first time he did that? The Sentinel State like, Prison. <laughs> I used to be scared talking to you in the beginning too. This like, call and your telephone Lord number will be anything, monitored bro. and recorded. You have a prepaid I, I call. Could, uh, you I could turn state's evidence against call. you. No, to accept this call, no, but they can take a beat and a now. And no one's going to question the whole conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for using Global Tail Link. Nerve wracking. Hello. Hello. Speak up. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Speak to my people. Yeah. <laughs> Speak on it. Speak on it. <laughs> yep. Hey, but but uh, that's what's cool, though. That's what this whole podcast has been about from the first one. You get to pave the road 
to, uh, on the way out to show because we, we wanted to show everybody, yep. you know, the full circle. You know, yeah. people, like I said, people can only see people can only see what we show them inside this place. And, and we, this podcast is about showing them a different side of prison, showing them how even the worst of the worst can transform their life, yep. can redeem themselves, and ultimately. Now they get to see you out there after you've regained your freedom. You get to go back out there and re-earn tr- society's trust. And you and, and, and in, in a few years from now, we can have a reunion to show everybody like, hey, you know, this is what success looks like at the end of this road. This yeah. is for the people who put in this work. And like like Dave said, you absolutely going to be successful because you got to remember we cut from a different clock. You know? I know. Yeah, that's you, you know, that, like the I know. Podcast, that you have a collect call from. You know, it's crazy that we're the ones still calling, but now you're accepting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The one that's accepting our calls, now, <laughs> you know. It's just yeah, but that's the way it's got to be like, till we you know? get get the last man out. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You know? For anybody, yeah. for anybody that's like that's that's kind of resisting change and you know skeptical of recovery. Look at this is our brother. This is our brother. He was on these podcasts on this end this entire time. You know, uh, locked up for what twenty seven years. Twenty seven years. You're home now. Now you're accepting our calls. And you're more importantly, our calls because you made a decision to let all that trauma go. And more importantly, for the for the for the for the people that are locked up, four years ago yep. I was on a one eighty. So picture that. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, stuck in yeah. one of the most dangerous, hopeless yards in the state of California. Yeah, yeah where border will never let you go, right? But um, yeah. Oh, yeah. but four short years. And my feet are on soil. And now here you are. Yeah, my feet are on free yeah. soil. You know, I don't know these parts where I'm at right now, but I know you guys do. But ain't no different. I feel like I'm in Moval. I'm here, baby. Yeah, yeah. You know, my West Coast yeah. is my New York. You know what I mean? My Mexico is my Canada. Yeah. I'm, I'll touch down. <laughs> I touch down on this continent yeah. already. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 Now the sky's the limit. Now the sky's the limit. Let's Bro, see where you're going to be in a few years. I know you guys get to go oh, and a, see your family, and I know that's going to be awesome. You guys yeah, are going to be part of it all. Man. You guys are going to be part of it all, bro. Gosh, we feel like we are. You know, you are. We feel like we are, man. We're on the journey with you. You are. The you same way I'm you know, still a part of you. Go, you know? The same way I'm still a part of you, bro. Yeah. I'm free, but none of the pain is ever going to leave. Yeah. You know? Yeah. How did it feel? How did it feel? Like, cause you I know a part of us with you. Yeah, I know when I paroled yeah. before, when I paroled, there's times where I let, I had to leave Jesse. I had to leave a lot of guys behind. You know, and I think about yeah. it when I was driving away. You know, and yeah. I'd be going down that street. You know, how did it feel knowing you know, that you're, you know, we're not gonna be able to go with you. You're gonna leave friends behind. Did, did that ever cross your mind? I tried to explain that to James. That's the part I, I couldn't talk. You know. Yeah. I I, I couldn't talk. Yeah. You know, it, it's uh, it's too yeah. difficult. It's too fresh. You know, it's a lot of pain there yeah, still. For sure. You know. Yep. But uh, good good news, yeah, guys. I think about that. Good news. I I yeah, I, I called the sure. um the transitional, and uh, uh-huh. yeah, bro, uh, I can have a phone, so it's gonna be sooner than later. I'll be up on that GTL. Oh, that's yeah. cool. That's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna see you pop in with a little green dot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> with a little green dot, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's good stuff. Yeah, That's bro. That's good stuff. But hey, check it out. We just wanted we just wanted to get a few minutes in there and get a few yeah. minutes for a call so we could be a part of the the initial transition. We don't want to hold you guys up. We know you've got 24 hours, but that 24 hours is gonna fly it's by flying. way quicker than we think. You know, yeah. so yeah. Uh, right. So I want to let you guys. I want to let you eat your breakfast. I want to let you guys get to doing what you're doing, man. I appreciate that. You just know your hope and your inspiration for us in here, brother. We love you. Man, I, I'm excited to see how the things go with, 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 with your family. That That's an awesome thing. And, and uh, we'll definitely be touching base again. You know, I don't know if there's anything else uh, you guys wanted to add or, or Dave wanted to add. Uh, just, just, tell, uh, just tell you, man, good luck, man. And I know I'll be talking to you soon, so it's not goodbye, man. It's just yeah, I know. You. I'll see you later. You know, I'll talk to you later. And, yeah. uh, you know, and, uh, I believe in you, man. And I, you know, I know you're going to make us proud, man. And you're going you're gonna to help pave the way for me and Jess, you know. Yeah. You're gonna be you're gonna be there to to, to collect to, death eventually, yeah. and then I'll, I'll follow after that sometime. You know, 
And then, uh, James, man, I just want to say thank you, man. You know what? Uh, <laughs> and I, I want to go ahead and give uh, all of you, everybody that's that, that's here on this call right now, a, a, a thank you, you know, because uh, yeah. all, all of this was possible because of you. You know, you, you guys put the vision together and uh, shit. You know, I'm just the clavo and shit moving uh -huh. through the streets. Oh, yeah, he got a new, he got a new handle, yeah. the clavo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's a, uh, what do you call it? He's a recovery meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a recovery meal from dope to hope, from dope to hope, from dope to hope. Yeah, yeah. Dope to hope. about hope and recovery and Yeah. 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 Man That's what the... it's about, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. We show we're gonna we're gonna show everybody what this what this recovery and this redemption looks like, man. And and that's what's awesome about this. Thank you, James, for yeah. everything you do, bro. Thank you, I, guys, I, I'm man. excited about the day you get to come down here and pick me up, and we get to do the same thing. You know? Yeah. Yep. Shit. Yeah. Yep. Guys, I'll see you guys, man. I'll be talking to you guys soon. Hey, I love uh, you guys. Ricky's next, Ricky yep. next. Look yeah, I love you man. too, dog. Hey, I'm gonna let you guys go so you guys can get on get on down the road, man. But you guys be cool, man. Good luck with everything, and and you already know where we're at. Yeah, yeah. I know. Bro, so yep. To you too. Yep. You have a collect call from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, and, uh, hey, don't forget. Right, oh yeah, Cinderella. Yeah. Midnight is oh, coming, and we're gonna oh, start yeah. moving. <laughs> All right. Is this, is this what you guys do? Is this what you guys do? I've never heard this before. Yeah, Miklo. Yeah, Miklo for the barrio. Cinderella. Come say hi to the fella. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. They hide that. They hide that at yours. I've never seen them act like this either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, this yeah. All right, okay. fellas. Hey, you guys have a good morning down there, man. Have a blessed day, yeah, man. man. And uh, and and you already know you guys are my prayers, man. Be yeah. cool. Likewise, hey, likewise, bro. likewise, bro. Talk to you soon, all right? All, all right. right. Hey, thank you. And like That's I said, right. around here, okay. life's like a candle. Once you blow it out, lights out. That's it. That's nice it. out. Yeah, for it. sure. Hey, when like. you, later on tomorrow or something, James, I want to talk to you. Hey, quick before I forget. Uh, I'm gonna put you as soon as you get your phone. I'm gonna add you to my thing for that cryptocurrency, so you can start <laughs> mining yourself. That's what. That's what's up. That's what's up. We're on there already. I got you. We we're running in the same yeah, lane. We're running in the same lane, bro. Yep. Yep. You yep. already know. I I got you, Fluff. I saw. I was telling the old girl this morning. I said, as soon as the homie gets his phone, I'm gonna give him my link, so that way he can get on there and start letting. Just let that shit sit, and that shit's gonna start cultivating. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. What? What up? Yep, but all right, you guys be cool. I'm going to do the same thing with you, James, but I'll talk to you about it later on. Okay, all right, all right. cool. Later, Thank brother. you. Gracias. All right, late. All right, all right. Yep, yep, late. All right, late. Bye.